All this week, we've been looking at a growing drug problem in this country. The abuse of prescription drugs, recreational use of these drugs by young adults has increased dramatically. And it's sometimes hard to recognize the abuser. He or she could be a member of your own family, and you wouldn't even know it. The road back from addiction, it's long and hard, as you'll see in our continuing series, Generation Rx. In a matter of months, Mark was feeding a $300 a day addiction and the McCarthy family had we'll descended say. into chaos. I wanted to murder him. When a friend died after overdosing on prescription drugs. I'm Jerry, Mark, nice welcome. Meet you, Jerry. Welcome. Let me give you a hug. Let me How give you, you a hug. Good. Mark decided to check into Florida's G&G &G Holistic Addiction Treatment Center. <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Mark, I'm a recovering addict. Mark's failed at rehab twice already. Sign with his signature. But the staff here specializes in just such cases. Your hosts, Mike Jarek and Juliet Huddy. is the president of G&G &G Holistic Treatment Incorporated, the center where Lindsay is being treated. John Giordano is here. John, how, are you seeing a lot of ambient addicts come to your clinic? We're getting more and more ambient addicts. We have about eight right now in treatment, and we have about 20 of them that have taken Ambien. So as you can see, there's, there's a tremendous increase in this. You know, because they say it's safe, but may be addicted. I always worry when people say maybe something. But if you look at the material, I mean, I've taken it, and if you follow the directions, it shouldn't be harmful. How many people you know really follow directions? No That's one. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Is it up to the pharmacy to, to give you the warnings? Well, you know, people get the warnings, but how many people really read warnings? And how many yeah. people yeah. Are really have the propensity to be addicted? And doctors only get one hour of addiction training. So when they give this out to people, they don't have to giving it to addicts sure. or not. Another thing is a lot of people will take Ambien after they've been drinking. Yeah. Tonight on The Big Idea, we're on the roadmap to the American dream and turning mistakes into millions. A wild ride from mobsters, drug runners, and karate masters takes one man from the brink of destruction to millions. I started to realize what I was doing to myself and to my family. Are you ready for the big box? Their stories, your roadmap, the American dream. Tonight on The Big Idea. We're back on the roadmap in two minutes. We're showing you that highway to millions. Don't go anywhere. Business is vision. Recognizing opportunity and having the guts to do what you love. In tonight's moment of clarity, John Giordano has a life-changing revelation. Something happened in treatment. You could call it a spiritual awakening. In two weeks in treatment, I started to change. I started to wake up. I started to listen. People can hear. That's biological. I was listening to what they were saying. And when I was listening, I started to realize what I was doing to myself and to my family and to everybody else around me. See, I led a double life with karate. It was very interesting. I got the Martin Luther King Award, the helping the, the black community. I got all the homeless award. I did all the, and then I was selling drugs, drugs and, and getting people, high yeah. with it. I mean, you yeah. know, it was like nuts. I would like to thank DirecTV for sponsoring this week's Moment of Clarity. Yeah, and I'm Mike. That's nice nice John. Nice to meet you. Yeah. My mistress was heroin. I know, I know exactly what you were doing. I did it. We do a, a, a whole approach to this. You know, so you quit drugs and alcohol. We don't know how to live life. You don't know how to deal with the ex-wife. You don't know how to deal with not having your kids right away. That's the stuff you're gonna have to learn. She's now in rehab at North Miami Beach's Holistic Addiction Treatment Program, where the focus is on treating the person, not just the addiction. We do everything with the client, to learning, helping them with their, their disabilities, to getting vocational education assistance, job placement, the nutrition, vitamins, psychiatric, the whole nine yards they get. just talk about drugs and alcohol. We get to the core issues of what's really driving all of that. And right now, the most important part is filling that emptiness, that loneliness deep inside of John.
so we can feel whole again and make a better decision. Get back this train.